Hello everyone, welcome to Program Strings. I'm Henriette and in this lesson we're practicing the old woman and the peddler and this is an ensemble piece so we're playing in two parts again today and that's always the fun of playing I find and you guys have written below videos that you enjoy that as well so here we have another wonderful tune that we can practice together. Now, this is a very special tune because it has lots of playing at the lower half of the bow and we're beginning to explore what happens to your bow hand when you play at the lower half of the bow because this is the heaviest part of the bow as you have probably already discovered and we'll be working to make it slightly easier for you to play at the lower half of the bow so we're practicing lots of this. Now first of all I'd like you to double check your bow hold, we haven't done that in a while so let's do it today and let's double check that your thumb and your middle finger are still across from one another on the bow and then when you tip the bow over I want you to check that you've got about a finger width space here and a finger width space there and that your little finger is on the side edge so not on the top of the bow like that but your pinky finger leans against the bow from the side. So that is the first step to having a good bow control at the heel of the bow. Now I'd like you to try this because this is what we're going to be using and it may well be that your fingers will need to get a little bit stronger before you can do this but eventually you'll find yourself controlling the bow like that so you might give it a go. And this movement is what we're going to use when we play these eighth notes at the heel of the bow. Can you see that? Can you see my fingers are flexible, they're going like that. Now if you think that this is not for you just yet, then you might practice it with a pencil. So you hold a pencil exactly in the same bow hold as you would with your bow. And then I'd like you to squeeze your fingers and and pull them in as it were and stretch them so bend your fingers and stretch and bend and stretch and eventually you'll find you'll get some movement well at first it might well be that you're doing just this which is a great start so I'd suggest you practice that every day for a couple of weeks and eventually you'll think ah I'm getting more movement right here and that is going to help you in this song so let's now play the song and explore very, very slowly how it goes. We're going to play every eighth note. In England, we call them quavers, either at the lower half or at the upper half of the bow. So we're using a half bow on those. All the other notes, such as quarter notes and half notes, will play with long bows. So I'm going to start with the point of the bow. And you remember, we've been talking about straight bowing. Stretch your bow arm straight in front of you here. I'll count us in for three. One, two, three. Bird. 
that is amazing playing really well done so there's lots to think about and again you've noticed we're, we're talking about bow distribution at this stage as well whole bows half bows how fast is the speed of your bow those are all ideas that should be popping in your head when you play this song and that will make for a good tone quality so you you don't have to feel that you need to speed this up play it really slowly so that you get a good grasp of where on the bow you were playing and you'll be making really good progress something else that's new is introduced in this lesson as well and that is the ritardando or ritenuto the slowing down at the end of your piece so take a look at your last bar you see the three letters r i t and that is an abbreviation of both ritardando and ritenuto they're just slightly different words for the same idea which is to slow down your music and that happens quite a lot in music when you slow down right at the end to indicate that that is where the end of your piece is and just to give you an example of how you might slow your music down i'll play you the last four bars i'm playing it a little bit faster so that you can hear the slowing down better you see slows down a little bit towards the end. Now in a moment we're going to play this song together and I should be delighted to play you the accompaniment part and you can join in with your playing when you feel comfortable playing this whole piece without stopping. So the idea is that you want to practice it separately so away from the duet playing shall we say until you feel totally comfortable playing your part. And in the early stages of you learning this piece, you might just listen to how the duet goes, so you learn it in that way, until you then feel comfortable and join in. One, two, three. <laughs> to the channel and that allows me to continue to make these videos so if you haven't already subscribed please do so now thank you so much for watching i look forward to seeing you very soon you take care